Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining us in the workshop. It's a miserable day, it's raining outside, but we are gonna have a brilliant time in here. If everything aligns, and there is a fair amount that needs to come together and all line up, but I'm gonna try my best to get everything sorted. So today, by the end of this video, we are gonna have that giant engine crane back on its wheels, hydraulics in place, and finished. Maybe we'll even try and lift up a Ranola. How about that? I started cleaning it up. Look at the threads. Completely gone. And this is the, that's the nut part, and they're not much better in there. I know, I know, I probably could have remade that bolt, but I was just like, you know what? Really, I'm gonna be lifting up these precious ranolas. The machine itself weighs an awful lot, probably nearly half a ton. I'm gonna to be lifting up 750 kilos of the ranolas. So like, do I really wanna risk something terrible happening, the wheel giving way and the whole lot falling over? I was like, no. I do not. <laughs> so I splashed out and bought two brand new, fabricated, really nice, welded together, solid casters. Those casters are rated for up to a ton each. Um, so they're more than man enough for the job. Problem is the bolts don't line up. The bolt holes don't line up the original. So I'm gonna have to, mm, I don't know, drill some more holes in the body probably, or in the actual crane. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but that's gonna be the first job get those bolted on. Then let me show you, take you over here and have a look where I've got to with the actual up and down mechanism. On the back, this is where the original wheel sat. Um, I've taken it all off, a little bit, it didn't need a lot, a little bit of heat, this was actually loose. So that's spinning really nicely. This is now loose. So none of that was an issue. The main problem for that whole mechanism seizing up was this. That was stuck. That was completely rusted and seized onto that. So as you turn, as you turn this wheel, it moves, it spins this axle with a little square, a bit like a socket and a ratchet. So it's got a square sort of shank on the end. This is bolted solid. And it was just seized up. That square fits in that socket and turns that which in turn spins these teeth. Um, I've gone down, whilst I was down at the repair shop, I went down to, I stopped in at Aaron Fasteners on the way, who we get a lot of our nuts and bolts from for the repair shop. He's got a huge stock of old Imperial BA, I think these are Whitworth, all sorts of different nuts and bolts he's got there. So he's a really helpful guy. He entertains us when we need like one obscure nut and bolt. So thank you if you're watching. If you need any nuts and bolts, get down to Aaron Fasteners. So all of these bags are replacement nuts and bolts. They're sort of shake proof washers, basically to replace a lot of these because they're just in such bad condition. Here we go, that's the one, the other wheel removed. Then I'm just gonna drill four more holes in that plate and bolt the new one on. That's the wheels bolted on. I need to change the nuts for a couple of nylocks, but whatever. The wheels, that's kind of boring. Drilling holes and putting nuts and bolts in. They're done, the wheels are on, so now the crane officially has four wheels back in place. Now we can get up the good end. Let's try and get that mechanism with the adjusting wheel and that threaded bar, all that stuff back together again. The arm and the upright mechanism for the crane, I need to flip that over, slide it in here, 
and then line up the bolts and get it, these four bolts through that plate with these two. Then I'll be in a position where I can actually stand the thing back up again for the last time and get this hand wheel bolted on. We're nearly there. Yeah, lovely. Right, that's it. It's together. It's a clever mechanism, but basically those two bolts, are big bolts that I've just put through, really all that holds the arm and the whole mechanism onto the body of the crane. It's, uh, it's crazy really, but luckily <laughs> I have replaced all of those bolts with bolts that are stronger than the original ones. So we have no worries with safety. They are all, they're all brand new. I can stand it up. This is it. I'm gonna stand it up now. It's on, a, on an axle stand, but it's balancing on this back point. I'm gonna put a scaff pole in the end and lift it up and try and get it to that balance point and hold it. And then hopefully sneak those bits of wood in and let, let it down gently on to these blocks. No trip to hospital, A and E, not this time. <laughs> okay, let me just on my, get my breath back. That was seriously heavy. I'm so glad it's now down on its wheels. I can actually put the hand wheel, like that kind of actual hand wheel on, which I'm dying to do, because then I can see if this mechanism is actually gonna work. So this is it. This is the bit that was seized up. I've now greased it a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of grease on there as well. So when I turn this wheel, I've genuinely not done this, so I still don't really know. When I turn this, that point should raise and lower, hopefully. Yeah, it's going down. That is so cool. Isn't it brilliant? Um, I've just got the last couple of bracing parts to go on the back. That's it. Done. Working so well. Brilliant. Right, I need those hydraulics. I'm gonna jump in the van, go and see Glenn, see how he's getting on. It's chucking it down. It's so rainy, it's horrible. But we are back at Phoenix Contracts to see Glenn. I'm a bit nervous actually. I feel like a, I'm a contributor on the repair shop and I'm about to go in the barn doors and see what Glenn's done to my item. It's a, quite a strange feeling. I really hope he's been able to fix it. I know I've spoken to him a few times in the week 
and it's been, oh no, I don't know, it's not looking good, it wasn't holding pressure, this was wrong, that was wrong. So I'm very nervous. Right, where is he? Oh. Hello, Glenn? Oh my God, look at that. Here he is, the man himself. <laughs> How's it going? Not bad, mate, not bad. Glenn, what have you done? We thought we'd clean it up a wee bit for you. Honestly. Oh, it's beautiful. You're showing me up now. The rest of the crane is... <laughs> <laughs> well, we managed to get these on the crane for you. And we made a new pin. They're the original bits, yeah, they go down That's the bottom. the original bits that go in the bottom and hold the base of the ram on, but they were all seized on. Yeah. So we managed to get so, these off. That oh yeah, well, these were on the yeah. side, yeah. We've got your new pin. So basically it slots in with these and then the circle it picks it's on there. It's only to stop the pin sliding, sliding out. Sliding out, yeah. But they will now move freely. And we've put a grease nipple on the bottom as well for you because you have grease nipple. Oh, I love it. So you can now grease that pin to that stop. Perfect. Yeah, talk us through. So what's happened? So this well, is... This was the original rod. Although it, it didn't seal on the rod, the problem was this was all bit and perforated. And what could eventually happen is the rubbish could get inside and score the tube. So rather than take the chance, we did polish it through, as you can see, but where it's pitted there, that would go rustic in seconds. In seconds, because it's going to be outside. Yeah. Yeah. So we've made a brand new rod in there, we've cleaned all your tube up, all resealed, and put your collar back on. The so that's the original collar? That's the original collar. And that is a new tube, so you've that's made a, a replica rod. of that? A replica new rod. Piece. We've taken this rod out, made a brand new one, put a new piston on it, new piston seals, and it should be nicer. We've polished all the inside wow. of the tube, so it's nicer. And this tube is the original? That's the original tube. We just, just cleaned it up? cleaned it all up for you. It looks amazing. Yeah. Was this plaque on there? Yeah. No? Yeah. Was it actually? Yeah, underneath we cleaned it? it up. And... Oh, it's awesome. It's a shame it's going to be hidden in the machine, isn't it? Because once it's in there, you only see that, yeah. But... That's because the handle was seized. This is all, that all moves now. Yeah, that was completely seized up. Yeah, that was completely seized, yeah. <gasps> And it's got oil in it. I was going to ask you that. So yeah. it's got oil in it, but yeah, I'll have to more. put more in for the lines, I guess. A little bit, but what you do is put it in, pump it up and down a few times to aerate the system, and then come back. And come Where do you fill it? There. That's your dipstick in there. It's just tight, but someone's tightened it up. Oh, that's so it. No, that's finally. Your so it's that's got a little breather hole on top of the dipstick as well. And the idea is you've got your dipstick check your level. That's your hose that's going to go from there. To there because it comes up under. Oh, it's much thinner than the other one. It doesn't, just doesn't need to be. No, it's, we've moved on since then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a stronger hose, it's a compact two wire, so it's more, more strength than what the original hose was. Even though it's thinner, yes. it's stronger than nowadays what. Nowadays they've made everything a bit neater, smaller. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, the pressure on that one, as you can see there, it's 5,000 psi. <gasps> 5,000 psi, what will this, working what pressure. sort of pressure would this the pressure, make? That maximum pressure that will get to is probably about 2,000 psi. Goodness me. I'd say the rough working pressure that is about 1,000 psi. To maximum. lift a tonne? Yeah. Oh, it will lift up to two tonne. Really? Yeah. yeah. So these will go up to that? Yeah. They'll run from here, because this is your return here, and they'll run from there. So what happens is when you've locked this off, the oil will come here and you've locked that off, the pressure can only come out here to the ram. Yeah. When you want to control the descent, you can turn your valve here, and then that will let the oil come back through here. So this is out to the piston? Yep. That's up? Yep. What this does, this only lets the oil come through here. But obviously, once you release this valve, the oil can come back. Okay, so this is your lock, so you have to have this down. For the handle to work. Right? And then that creates pressure, because if you don't have that down, the mechanism underneath there, it will just run around in its own sort of look. That's beautiful stuff, really, really nice. And my original pin's gonna fit through this yep. hole? Yep. Yeah, it's exactly the same as that one. So good. But now it won't go rusty. So will it be okay to be outside? Yeah, that, that's what it's chrome plated. That's fine. Not that, that little bit. No, because you've turned that. Clean that down to make the same neck as your one. But the rest of it originally but, like that, see how that's chromed originally? The ceiling surface. But all that's happened after I've been out with the weed, the rain, the dust, and it, what happens is the dirt gets on it. That's why normally you wouldn't leave the arms out all the time. So when I'm leaving it outside, so you put it, it in. If you're going to leave it out for a while, just bring it down. Yeah. I'm so chuffed. This is so good. I need to paint the rest of it now. 
I've left the rest of the crane looking all rusty. <laughs> <laughs> You're showing me up. All the, all the top rope is all corroded, but we've saved as much as we can. We tried to keep it. I mean, this original. is insane. You couldn't even tell no, what was here. Yeah, Could, any of this just was a big rusty rust mess. Was, at the start, I was debating doing this myself and having a go myself. I'm so glad I didn't. To move it, to let it move the arm up, I need to turn yeah, that right. Get to the lock pressure, it. and I've set it so you can't overturn it. Okay, once perfect. Once that's down, that's it. So lock that down. Lock that down. I'll you probably leave it there. Don't no. that. Just once it's down there, we've set the distance. So once that's in that position, that's it. And to be honest, you could probably leave I will, it in that I position. Think. Yeah. Because you can control it all from your release valve. From the other release valve. So yeah. I just leave that locked down. So that yeah. will let it build pressure. So now that will let you pump pressure. Yeah. Because if that was off, you wouldn't. You could work it, but it wouldn't build that pressure. We've made you a brand new rod, as you can see. We've taken all the paint off the tubes. We've cleaned the inside of the tube. We've resealed it. New piston. We cut all the base off, which was Kai cut all the base off. He actually got the ram apart, didn't you, Kai? That was quite stiff. And then you helped rebuild it and test it. And then Jason made all the machine parts. We got to make all the special adapters there. Special adapter there, and inside we made adapter, but that was Ryan's idea, wasn't it? Yeah. We were stumped, weren't we? Yeah. But unfortunately, my son got the idea better than I did, because my idea didn't work how many times? No, we tried three. But, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> 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 but Ryan came up with the idea that actually mechanism worked. So, and then we've cleaned all the tape, which Kai done all the cleaning, and then we've tested it, worked it, and we've put everything back together as it is, and, made, and Kai made all the hoses as well, didn't he, Kai? You know? Love it. So it's a good team effort. Yeah. The other two lads, unfortunately, not here at the moment, but they've done bits and pieces as yeah. well. But the main people was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did all of it. That's we it. We all yeah. put work in together because that's what it's all about. I mean, it's, we do rams and all the time, but this is a completely different thing because it's nice to look back at the way things were done 50, 60 years ago, how wrong this is. Yeah. You know? Figure out. Imagine the people that designed that in the first place. It's well, to be honest, from them years ago, they've done a very good job. You, yeah. you, you take for granted that you think we're the ones that invented everything, and then you look back and say, How old is that? Actually, yeah. You don't think they were that far, of it, but it's surprising because you say, No way can it be that old. So, we know technically we haven't moved on that far. No. Maybe miniaturised it a bit and slightly higher pressures, but. A brand new one of those would basically do the same job, yeah. really. Yeah. 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 It would be very similar principle, isn't it? Yeah. Right? yeah. Amazing. Well, guys, honestly, thank you so much, oh, all of you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. It's worth it. It's gone to a good home. <laughs> I'm going to get it bolted onto the crane this afternoon, and hopefully we'll have it moving up and down. So. Yeah, good. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that one, lads. Definitely, yes. And remember, if it doesn't work, Dom, I have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, what, what has just happened? I was not expecting that. I cannot believe the work that Glenn and his team have oh, just, I'm blown away. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I literally said to him, don't worry about cleaning it. Just, you know, leave it like it is. Just get trying your best to get it working. And he's been, the whole time he's been like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're going to get it. I don't know if we're going to get it. And look at it. It literally looks like new. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the British Racing Green could not be better. He's showing me up. <laughs> When you restore classic cars that have patina on the paintwork, underneath, all of the running gear, the suspension, the engine is detailed to perfection. Every nut and bolt is just perfect and painted and everything looks pristine. But the bodywork on top looks ratty and rough as anything. The crane is going to look just like that. The important part, the ram and the piston and the, and this, like the jack, the hydraulic jack, all of that bit is going to be perfect. The wheels are nice and new, the front wheels are rebuilt, everything's looking good. Where it matters, and the actual cosmetics, leave it looking ratty. I'll seal it so it doesn't go any more rusty, um, but just clear and leave it all looking ratty like it is. I think it's gonna look amazing. Okay, so we've got the main ram. This is the top and it has a pin that runs through. That's this, that obviously I will clean. Glenn has made this new, uh, a brand new pin that fits through there and also passes through these. They sit either side like that. 
plan is to assemble all of this on the bench hang the piston from there onto the actual arm through there jack the end of this up until it matches swing it in put the bolts in whether it goes as straightforward as that who knows i mean i doubt but that's what i'm going to do that's my plan and i'm sticking to it This is a new little grease nipple for this gun. But here all. There we go. So once that is installed, this is still accessible from the outside and that allows grease to go in with the special tool. This is hollow, it's got a lot of hole through the middle and a little hole there, so I can grease this pivot point from the outside. It's cool. Um, someone actually suggested this in the comments, so if that was you, brilliant, you've planted the seed in my head. <laughs> so I've used the lift to sort of hold the end of the boom part of the crane. So I know that that's stable and in position, so it's not gonna fall down and chop my arm off. Um, so I can actually try and manhandle now the piston in and try and get the pin through that hole. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. All right, that's in. It's safe. Now I'm going to let this down until those bolt holes line up. I am an idiot, officially. It's now nearly seven o'clock. I hope it would be done, I'm so close. And I've been fighting, trying to get the, those four bolt holes lined up on the bottom of the piston. And they're so difficult to get to, cut all my hands, it's just, oh, it's a nightmare. Got all four in, got back, reached for the spanner, looked round, and I was just like, the hose fitting's at the back. I'm sure the hose fitting was at the front before, and yes. You know exactly what I've done. I've put the whole ram on the wrong way around. And it's in the inside. It should be coming out of here so the hose can go down and around, not in there. Which means I'm back to square one. I've got to take, look, oh, look, the bolts are all in. They're all in. It's done. Just doing up two hoses and it would be finished. Now I've got to take it all off again, the whole piston off, spin it round and redo it. I'm not going to film it, I won't put you through that pain, but next time you see me, I may be a little bit more stressed. <laughs> there is an hour of my life I'm not going to get back. That's better. That makes sense now. So that is all on, that's on, it's all good, I've done everything up nice and tight. Three hoses away from cranking on that lever and seeing if this thing will actually lift. Honestly, Glenn made that easy. Thank you so much, Glenn, uh, and the team there at Phoenix Contracts. Honestly, all the fittings, the hose lengths, everything was just perfect. Everything just went together so not. That was the easiest bit. I was most worried about that, the hydraulics, plumbing and all the pipes. But that was the easiest bit. It just fell together, done. I'll let down the lift, see if the, and then the boom of the engine hoist will probably drop. Um, but then hopefully I should be able to pump the handle and it will go up.
It'll probably take a few pumps to sort of get rid of all of that air and send it back down, but let's see what happens. Well, nothing's leaking yet. Nothing's happening, but nothing's leaking. Oh, it's going, it's going. Look. <laughs> yes. That's it, it's all the way up. Working absolutely perfectly. It's massive, it's so big. It goes so high, that's so cool. It's working, great, it goes up and down. But the whole point of doing this was to lift up one of the ranellers. Now, it's a bit late in the day, but I'm kind of tempted. Shall I try? That's a ranella, swing it around. It's off the ground. How good is that? The satisfaction is just incredible. This crane has not been used for, I think it's about 30 odd, 40 years maybe. It's been sitting in that field, rotting away. And look, it's working absolutely perfectly. I'm so chuffed. It's so epic that we're using such an old machine to lift such an old machine. Isn't it cool? This is it now. There's no stopping me now. <laughs> I can finally move these ranellers around the workshop. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have certainly loved every minute of it. This has been a long time coming. For everybody that keeps telling me I've got too many projects on the go, this is one ticked off the list. That crane has been sitting outside looking sorry for itself for over a year, maybe two years. Brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And um, oh, buy the book. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I am going to get some dinner. Well, things are going from bad to worse. I've just dropped my camera and I've cracked the screen even more. Is it, can you still see it? Oh, we've run out of Picard now.